Yes. And today we're doing this. We are. So this is the brilliant breakfast workshop. We're running this for four consecutive weeks for, let me come a bit closer so you can see me properly. We're running this for four consecutive weeks for you and your children so they know what healthy breakfast to eat. And as Amy said, we done baby night like oats last week. Were they good? Because you let them straight after we built. <laughs> we saw some of your lovely photos, so thank you so much for sharing those with us. So keep on sharing your photos. If you've made overnight eyes, we want to see them, don't we? Yeah. Maybe we should run a competition for the best overnight eyes. Yeah. <laughs> and um, thank you for the thumbs up there. So yes, if you're watching this live, I have not got a clue how many of you are there. I can't see this morning. So give us some hearts and thumbs up and say hi to us in the comments. Um, yeah, this week we're making smoothies and I want to talk to you a little bit about smoothies. So, Smoothies sometimes can get a bad rap, right? Because they're full of, well, people say they're full of sugar because it's got lots and lots of fruit in there. But the truth is you've got all the fibre in there in the fruit as well. And actually, so it's really, really good for the digestive system. It helps keep you regular. You know how important that is. We talk about going to the toilet lots, don't we? <laughs> I'm a nutritionist. It's not something that I'm worried about talking about. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it helps keep you regular, which is amazing. But also the fibre slows down the absorption of the sugar in the body. But we don't only put fruit in our smoothies. What else do we put in? Yeah, we do. So let me talk to you about it. We do, that's what I was thinking, vegetables. Right, so I've got some printouts for you. We do, that's some lovely smoothies. I've got some printouts for you today. So I would love your children to build their own smoothie. So kids, if you're watching, let me know. Do you think you can build your own smoothie? So this is the list of the kind of stuff you could put in. So I'm just going to step back for a bit. So what you need is you need a base, which what, what, what have we got today for our base? Our favourite milk. Our favourite milk and almond milk that we use all the time. You don't have to use almond milk, but I put on the list here. You could use oat milk, you could use water, you could use coconut water, you could use fresh juice, you could put a herbal tea in. You like herbal tea, don't you? No, you need some liquid, so we get to the coconut oil. Well, yes, you can, but not to the liquid. Uh, I've even put some dairy free chocolate milk in. How good would that be? We've made that before, haven't we? We did, you know, that's from Dummy's workshop. Um, then you want some fruit, okay? You want them. So, what kind of fruit could you put into a smoothie? Tell me your favourite sm uh, fruits. Hit me up in the comments. Tell me your favourite fruit for a smoothie. What's your favourite fruit for a smoothie? Mango. Mango. Are we making mango today? No. Why not? Yeah, we're going in. <laughs> we haven't we haven't gone in shopping especially for this, so we're making something else today. But I put on here so things like bananas are brilliant, strawberries, blueberries, raspberries, all the soft fruits are really really good for smoothies. So kiwis, we've got banana today, pear, blueberries, blackberries. What fruit is it that you like in your smoothies? And then you could put an apple in, but it's not quite as soft as it's a bit crunchy, so it's not quite as good. So, now we want to get some vegetables. <laughs> no, I know, we're joking. The vegetables are fine because the fruit covers the flavour. So, what vegetables have we got today? Uh, we've got spinach. We've got spinach today. And. Some Yeah, they're not really the vegetables, but the rest of the vegetables, you could have kale, you could have avocado. Put an avocado there. Especially if your children don't like avocados, it's an amazing way to get them to eat avocado. Um, I'd put some beetroot there, you can put some courgette in because it's quite soft. And then, this is the thing that most smoothies are missing, we need protein and fat to keep you sustained. So, smoothies are really good for, maybe your children aren't very hungry one morning, do you get that? Do you say I don't want breakfast? Yeah? So smoothies are really good breakfast if your children's not feeling particularly hungry. Or I really like it, say you're going out for a late lunch and your kids are hungry and they need something to carry them through. So normally you get out a bag of crisps or they'd be asking for biscuits or chocolate bar. You wouldn't ask for that, would you? <laughs> but smoothies are a really, really good alternative. So I see smoothies actually as a, a meal replacement because they're very filling, they're very sustaining. So have it instead of a breakfast, lunch or dinner, or have a smaller size smoothie as a snack. But you wouldn't normally have a smoothie plus breakfast, what are you going to say? Exactly. So the thing that we want in there to make it sustainable is protein and fat. So I'm going to give you some examples of that today. Do you remember last week if you watched Overnight Oats, we were talking about what's this? Chia seeds and chia seeds and so you can put chia seeds or flax seeds in. I've got out here some sunflower seeds, some pumpkin seeds. You can put in some peanut butter, which is what we're going to be using today. 
today. Uh, let me see what else I've written down on that list. No, I just got that out to show people a um, avocado. You can put some hemp seeds in, you can put some yogurt in, you can put, what else have we said? Any type of nut in. This is what's gonna make your smoothies sustainable for your children, okay? And then I've put some optional extras, actually, which I haven't got out today, but you can boost it, put some extra nutrients in. So I have talking about, uh, in a different video, things like Bayabab and uh, Camu Camu. This might sound really weird and wonderful if you've never heard of these things, but some of you, I can see Natalie there. Hi, Natalie. I know you've got these weird, wonderful ingredients hiding in your cupboard, so just pour them out and be using them. You can put in a little bit of maple syrup if they want it a little bit uh, sweeter. You could sneak maybe some bees pollen in there if you've got that in your cupboard. If that's all too weird for you, don't worry about it. You don't have to put those things in. What's bees pollen? You've had it before. Right, so, you have, yeah. So then I've got this for you. So make sure you print this out. This is your children are gonna build their own smoothie and they're gonna write out what's going in it. So what's their base, what's their fruit, what's their vegetables, what's their protein and fat, what extras are they adding? And if you really, the base of the milk, darling. And if you really can't think of your own ideas or you don't want to, I've printed out a list of some ideas for you and this is what we're gonna be making. Hi Liz, nice to see you. Ladies, ladies, hit me some hearts, hit me up in the comments, keep it going for us. So, we are going to make Ava chocolate peanut butter smoothie. What do you think? Sounds yummy. Sounds yummy. I told you earlier, what was your reaction then? You went, oh, yeah! And I said, make sure you do that for the camera. And she's not. Okay, so we go for chocolate peanut butter smoothie. So we need one banana. Can you put that in? This is our smoothie jug. You get going with that. You may not have a... It is a bit like Costa, Costa coffee, isn't it? Thank you for the hearts, nice to see you all. Yes. Right, pop, pop that in, the whole banana. So you could use frozen banana. If your bananas are going a little bit brown, chop them up into chunks and put them in your freezer and you can get them out at any time. Also, I have a... Things in the freezer don't go off, did you know? So I have got some examples of some frozen stuff for you. Um, I've got this before, this is just from Tesco. This is for spinach, mango, kiwi and kale all in one bag. So you can just pop that in your smoothie with some milk and maybe with a little bit of proteins and some nuts, your smoothie would be done, okay? Thank you. Next thing, one tablespoon of peanut butter, please. Okay. Yep, tablespoon. We had some essential berries from um, Waitrose there, so they just stay there for a long time. Especially in times of Corona, if you cannot get fresh ingredients, frozen, that's it, do it your fingers. Frozen ingredients are absolutely amazing. You can get frozen spinach, you can get loads of frozen fruits. Like Ava said, she loves mango. Mango is quite expensive, but frozen mango isn't too expensive. That makes a really yummy uh, smoothie. Right, spinach is the next thing to go in. Handful? Yeah, put all of that in. So it's about, if it's for your children, it's about a children's size handful. Then we've got our favourite ingredient, or my favourite ingredient, Yeah, so we've got the raw cacao powder, which I mentioned last week. You could use cocoa powder, you could use chocolate powder. But this is going to be a really yummy, chocolatey, oh, not too much, banana-y, peanut buttery smoothie. Like, who's not going to like this one? I feel like I can't. You have. Uh, one cup of milk. So one cup of milk is going to go in there. If you haven't got measuring cups, about 250 millilitres. We're using our milk today. So fill that up. Because that's milk. really the only milk. It is really the only milk we use, and actually it's really hard to get hold of at the moment. And the last thing is, this smoothie has got a couple of dates in it for sweetness. But what did you say about dates? Uh, you said I don't want dates this morning. Okay, so if you haven't got a, this is going to be a bit noisy for a minute. So give us a second. Hey, can you just do a dance to keep them entertained? No, no, no. <laughs> Um, this is our smoothie maker, which is a Vitamix. You might just have one of those uh, food blenders with the little smoothie maker on the side, that's fine. You could even put it in a food, food blender. Worst case scenario, you could do some of these uh, smoothies by mashing it up on a chopping board, so mash up that bowl, uh, sorry, a banana, and be mixing in some, oh right, spinach might not mix in well, but <laughs> you could do it with the banana and the milk and maybe some ground almonds or something like that. So one minute while we do a quick whiz up, And then I think reusable straws would go 
in, but we've got a nice metal straw there, so I don't know what kind of straws you guys have got in. But here's a smoothie being served up, so this is breakfast for this morning. Could be lunch, could be dinner, could be a snack, but it's going to keep the kids going. There you go, Ava. So I want you to let me know in the comments what smoothie are you going to try making? Do you like smoothies? Um, join us for next week when we're going to be teaching you another healthy breakfast. <laughs> um, and in the comments here I've put the download to all of the recipes for your children to build their own smoothies and also for you to register if you want email notifications of our next workshops that are coming up. So I hope that was helpful for you. Have a look. You really like it? Let me know if you're going to try any chocolate peanut butter smoothie. It sounds so good, doesn't it? I think I'm going to have a try now.